Peggy 16. Hi, my name is Jean-Max Morris and I'm the creative director of Remember Me. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the game's combat system and show you our combo customization feature, which we call the Combo Lab. Let's dive into it. The glitches on the screen indicate that Nilin is dangerously low on health. And when she hits the Enforcer, no combo is triggered. That's because she has no active combo. So let's open the Combo Lab and see how we can fix this. The Combo Lab represents Nilin's fighting memory. As you fight your way through the game, Nilin will progressively unlock and remember her forgotten fighting moves, which we call Presence. You can have up to four active combos, and you get to customize them to adapt your tactics to any combat situation. And to do that, you're gonna fill those combos with four types of presence. Regen, Power, Cooldown, and Chain. There are around 50,000 possible combinations to create your own fighting style. But for now, let's create just one health regen combo. All we have to do is pick regen presence from the present list and drop them into our first combo. Naturally, the more presence you have in a combo, the stronger the effects are gonna be. Now let's try this combo. Keep an eye on Nilin's health gauge at the bottom left of the screen. You can see it going up and now she's back in the game. The problem with regen presence though, is that they deal very low damage. And to face this new gameplay situation, we're gonna go back to the combo lab. Let's build a second combo using power presence. These presents deal high damage and can trigger finishing move opportunities, whereby Nilin is gonna overload her enemy's memory. Let's preview this new combo. And now let's try it out. Okay, so these new guys have shields, and combos are not gonna work. And vaulting over them is not gonna work either. What we might want to do now is actually use one of the five special presents, aka S presents. Each of these special powers will consume one chunk of your focus gauge, which you can see opposite the health gauge. You gain focus every time you hit an enemy, and every time you get hit. Let's try the logic bomb. Now that did a good job of breaking all the shields. And now here comes a Seraphim. Seraphims are flying robots that you will basically never be able to get close to, and that are gonna keep shooting at you, interrupting all your combos. We can try to use the spammer, Nilin's mid-range weapon. But now it has generated a shield, so we're gonna have to try something else. The rust in pieces sounds good. What it does is it basically turns robot units into allies and makes them auto-destroy. That was pretty efficient. But now comes even bigger trouble. We're gonna need all our S presents. And as you can see, two of them are cooling down. So let's see what we can do about that. The third class of presents is the cooldown class. By performing these moves, Nilin is gonna reduce S present cooldowns, which is great because you'll need to use as many of them as possible. Let's take this opportunity to also introduce Chain Presents. When adding a Chain Present after any other Present, its effect will be duplicated and doubled. And of course, you can put several Chain Presents in a row, further multiplying the effect. Now let's finish the fight.
This is it for today's presentation of Remember Me's combat system. Soon we will introduce new enemies, which will require new strategies and tactics. For those of you who don't want to bother fiddling with the combos, autofill will be possible as well. But for those who master the system, the reward will of course be much greater. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.